Last night, police stressed the dangers of this intersection, in particular the bad visibility. Our Kaylin Norwood spoke with people in the area today and picks up our coverage from here. But first, we want to warn you, this shows the large fire that resulted from the crash. A horrifying sight to see this minivan up in flames after a deadly crash that took the lives of two people on a motorcycle. One of them, former football star Cedric Benson. The crash happened at Mount Bunnell in 2222. Because it's dangerous right here. And it's evident, you know, from what happened last night. David Stajanik lives in the area and says it's an intersection he doesn't like to cross. Here, I just usually go right because crossing left is... I mean, it, it's, it's scary. It's just too dangerous. People drive very fast. Uh, there's hardly any visibility from that side of the street. And so we only use this intersection to take a ride onto 2222. Others in the area say they've seen at least a half a dozen crashes here. People will slide. We had an accident where somebody car actually ended up in the ditch right here. Just looking at 2222 from Mount Bunnell Road, it's a hilly area with a lot of trees on either side. Police said poor visibility and speed could have led to Saturday's crash. The cars are coming down. There's not much distance between the top of the hill in each direction with cars going east and west on 2222. So even during the daytime, you know, you still, if you're going to make a left here, you better be crystal clear. No one's coming and you, know, you just got to hit the gas. For neighbors, it's tough to know there was another crash at this intersection, especially now, because this time the crash left a former UT and NFL running back dead. To hear it's anybody, it's terrible. But you know, when you're familiar with someone, you kind of watch them grow up playing football, it just kind of hits a little closer to home, you know. In Austin, Kayla Norwood, KB News. And those we spoke with say they'd like to see a stop light put in or at least a no left turn sign to help prevent any future crashes from happening there.